Hello everyone, you know who it is. Um, I just wanted to make this video to apologize for not making a video for a week. I released a video on Monday um, last week and it was about um, George Floyd. It was a tribute but I decided I should take it down because I didn't want any controversy or drama or any hate, you know what I mean? So I was going to release a compilation of Red Dead Redemption or COD or something like that. Um, I got lazy on Tuesday, didn't make a video. Wednesday, I was actually um, about to create a video and post it. And one of my friends, Jay, he tells me that my friend who I've known for nine years, Sean Dell, had passed away on Monday. And at first I didn't believe him, but then he showed me screenshots of a direct message between him and his brother. And once I saw that, I believed him. Um, this man, Chris, he was 25 and he died of an asthma attack. Let me tell you a little bit about him. Shondo was just a fucking homie. Um, I'll tell you I met him. So, I met a guy named Lavender, I think by playing GTA 4 online or something like that, back in 2011. And there's this thing that's like FaceTime for um, PS3. It was like voice chat, not voice chat, video chat. Anyway, Lavender invites me in and I join the chat and I meet Shondell there, and he's a really nice guy, and um, he actually sent me my first memes ever, the old, old school memes, and um, ever since then we were just great friends, and um, it was flash forward a year later, my dad goes to prison, and I'm getting bullied at school, my mom's re raising me as a single parent, we're living off of welfare. Anyway, um, he was there for me a lot as a kid. Like, we'd hang out and talk every day. Um, and it just really sucks that such a young man could pass away. And he wasn't even a bad guy, he was like a great human being, so I don't understand. I really don't. Anyway, um, by the end of 2017, that was the last time I played um, GTA 5 online with him. Um, the reason is is that I got busy in a relationship. It was pretty serious. It lasted a year. Then it ended. I talked to him, not through Skype or played a video game. I just texted him. He texted me back. And, um,. Anyway, I get in the of the relationship. That shit lasts a year. By the end of 2019, we're kind of talking, not really, just texting. Then, um, February this year, he asked me, um, if I want to Skype with him. And at the time, I wasn't on PSN. I was partying, moshing, just having fun, you know? Living life to the fullest. Then, um, four months passed by, I believe, or three months, and, um, he passed away of an asthma attack. It's so fucking surprising. Because, like, one, one, or fucking three months ago, he contacts me, wants to talk, and then one moment he's just dead. Anyway, besides him dying, I'll explain who Chris was to you. Chris was super funny he had always positive energy if you were down he'd make you feel better and I don't know he's a great guy give good advice um, I'll tell you some of the things he loved he loved oh my god he loved Persona 5 he could not get away from that game he loved Yakuza that was his favorite any anime series Bleach Naruto fucking One Piece any anime series he fucking loved. Um, 
And he, of course, loved anime bitches. He loved them titties. Uh, <laughs> he loved his cars, too. Shondell loved cars. He actually wanted to become a mechanic. And, oh my god, how could I forget? This motherfucker loved Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z was a shit, bro. Oh my god. Like, he'd always be watching it, or he'd be playing the game. And I thought it was weeaboo shit at the time, okay? Like, I don't know, I used to be made fun of for liking anime. So I never played the game with him, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, I think. But I remember him talking about it with me and how much fun he had. And I saw a little bit of gameplay that he played. Um, he showed me, I think, over Skype or something like that. But, man, he was such a good guy. And I can't believe, I can't believe he's gone. Um, so my message is to all of you out there, love the people around you, because you don't know one day they could be there, or one day they could be gone, so just appreciate the fuck of, out of anyone in your life, because you don't know, they could be here one day and gone in another. Anyway, spread positive energy, this was Charles, and um, yeah, I'm signing out, peace guys.